Hello everyone, welcome to RBR Life Science. Today we are going to discuss about McConkie's agar. After watching this video, you will be able to understand introduction of McConkie's agar, principle of McConkie's agar, composition and different uses of McConkie's agar. McConkie agar is a culture medium. This medium is used for growing the bacteria. It is the first solid differential media. It was first formulated by a British bacteriologist Alfred Theodore McConkie in 19th century. To honor the contribution of Alfred Theodore McConkie in the field of microbiology, this media is named after him as a McConkie's agar. McConkie's agar is known as a selective and differential media. This media is used to isolate and differentiate gram-negative bacteria of the Enterobacteriaceae family. Nowadays, McConkie's agar is also available commercially. Companies like High Media and many others manufacture the McConkie's agar in dehydrated forms. This is commercially available McConkie's agar media bottle from High Media. This bottle contains McConkie's agar powder. This powder is a mixture of different ingredients. The ingredients present in McConkie's agar powder are peptone, lactose, bile salt, sodium chloride, neutral red, crystal violet and agar. McConkie's agar plate are prepared using McConkie's agar powder and these plates are used for doing McConkie's agar test. Let's see what is the role of these individual ingredients. First ingredient present in McConkie's agar is peptone. Peptone is the source of the organic nitrogen, minerals and nutrients. Second ingredient is lactose. Lactose is a fermentable carbohydrate source. Third ingredient is bile salt. The role of bile salt is that it inhibits the growth of gram-positive bacteria. Fourth ingredient is the sodium chloride. The role of sodium chloride is to maintain the osmotic balance. The fifth ingredient in McConkie's agar is the neutral red. Neutral red is a pH indicator. It is red or pink when the pH is below 6.8 and it is colorless when the pH is above 6.8. Sixth ingredient present in McConkie's agar is crystal violet. Crystal violet also inhibits the growth of gram-positive bacteria. Seventh and last ingredient present in McConkie's agar is the agar. Agar acts as a solidifying agent. Now let's discuss about principle of McConkie agar. McConkie agar is a selective for gram-negative bacteria. It favors the growth of only gram-negative bacteria. These gram-negative bacteria are further differentiated on the basis of their lactose fermentation ability. The lactose fermenter gram-negative bacteria appear pinkish red in color, whereas lactose non-fermenting gram-negative bacteria appear as colorless colonies on the McConkie agar. This color change is due to the change in pH because of acid production during lactose fermentation. This change in pH is detected by pH indicator neutral red. Let's discuss in detail about how McConkie's agar is selective and differential. First we will see how it is selective. The bile salt and crystal violet present in the McConkie's agar, they inhibit the growth of gram-positive bacteria. Therefore, there is no growth of gram-positive bacteria on the McConkie's agar. Whereas, bile salt and crystal violet, they don't inhibit the growth of gram-negative bacteria. Therefore, gram-negative bacteria grow very well on the McConkie's agar. Since only gram-negative bacteria grows on McConkie's agar, Therefore, McConkie's agar is said to be the selective for gram-negative bacteria. Now, let's see how the McConkie's agar is differential. 
Suppose this is the agar layer in the McConkie's agar plate. The two types of molecules shown in the agar layer are lactose and neutral red. Suppose these are the three bacterial colonies growing on the surface of McConkie's agar. In all these three colonies, there are thousands of bacteria are there. Suppose the bacteria present in this colony, they utilize more lactose for their growth. Therefore, they will ferment the lactose present from the nearby agar layer where the colony is growing. This lactose fermentation causes acid production surrounding the bacterial colony. Due to this acid production, the neutral pH of the medium gets lowered to the acidic and colorless neutral red molecule become pink at acidic pH. Therefore, the bacterial colony utilizing lactose and surrounding area become pink colored. So, more the fermentation of lactose, more is the production of acid and therefore, there will be bright pink colored colonies. Now suppose the bacteria present in the second bacterial colony, they utilize less amount of lactose. So during the lactose fermentation, acid production will be less. Therefore, very few neutral red molecules get pink colored. In this way, this bacterial colony also has a pinkish appearance. Now the bacteria present in the third bacterial colony, they do not utilize any lactose molecule. Since these bacteria don't utilize lactose, there will be no fermentation of lactose and there will be no production of acid surrounding the bacterial colony. Therefore, the pH around this bacterial colony will remain neutral. Therefore, at neutral pH, neutral red molecule will remain colorless. Therefore, the whole colony is appearing as a colorless bacterial colony. In this way, these two bacterial colonies are lactose fermenters and this bacterial colony is a lactose non-fermenter. Here on this McConkie's agar plate, two types of bacteria are streaked. The bacteria streaked on the right side utilize the lactose. Therefore, there is acidic pH below 6.8. Therefore, this bacteria and surrounding medium appear pink. The bacteria streaked on the left side they don't utilize lactose. Therefore, there is no change in the pH. Therefore, the bacterial colony appear colorless. In this way, McConkie Zagar differentiates lactose fermenter and lactose non-fermenter bacterial colonies. Now, let's discuss what is the composition of McConkie Zagar. If you don't have the commercially available McConkie Zagar media powder, then you can make McConkie Zagar medium by adding individual components. So, these individual components are peptone, lactose, bile salt, sodium chloride, crystal violet, neutral red and agar. This is the standard formula for making 1 liter of McConkie's agar medium. You have to weigh all these ingredients and dissolve them in 1000 ml distilled water and then adjust the pH at 7.1. Now let's see what are the uses of McConkie's agar. McConkie's agar is used for the isolation of non-fastidious gram-negative enteric bacteria, mainly from the Enterobacteriaceae family. It is also used to differentiate lactose fermenting and lactose non-fermenting bacteria. Isolation of coliforms and intestinal pathogens in water, dairy products and biological specimen is done using McConkie's agar. So friends, now let us summarize what we learned so far about McConkie's agar. It is a selective and differential culture media. It contains ingredients like peptone, lactose, pile salt, sodium chloride, crystal violet, neutral red and agar. The selective component present in McConkie's agar are bile salt and crystal violet which inhibits the growth of gram-positive bacteria and favors the growth of gram-negative bacteria only. The differential component present in McConkie's agar are lactose and neutral red. Lactose fermenter bacterial colony appear pink colored whereas lactose non-fermenter bacterial colony appear colorless on McConkie's agar. 
it is a use for the detection of coliform and enteric pathogens for more information on maconchis agar media you can search in the google type maconchis agar rbr and search this is the article on the top maconchis agar selective and differential media by rbr life science please read this blog post you can also solve the mcq on maconchis agar go to the end of the blog post and click on the click here to start mcq quiz and solve the mcq so friends thank you so much for watching this video if you want to watch such more videos then please like comment share and don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel rbr life science for more information you can visit our blog website rbrlifescience.com the link to our blog website is given in the description thank you